Welcome back. Now, Eczema Awareness Week kicks off this coming Monday with an information campaign on the skin condition. Although it can start at any time in life, it frequently begins in infancy, affecting one in five children and one in ten adults. So joining us this morning to discuss are Dr Maeve McAleer, consultant dermatologist at Crumlin Children's Hospital and St James's Hospital, and Paul Herriot, broadcaster and patient advocate. You're both very Good welcome. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining us. us. Maeve, can I come to you first and get the basics from you? Yeah. What is eczema? and how does it present itself? Well, eczema is a common inflammatory skin condition. And the word eczema comes from a term that's a Greek uh, term meaning to boil. And that's a good description yeah. because the skin in eczema is red, itchy, dry, angry, and it's prone to frequent infections resulting in blistering and weeping and crusting. Okay, we're seeing some shots of it now. Um, I don't know where that would be on the scale of severity. From, from your experience, Probably Maeve? moderate. Moderate, yeah. OK. Yeah. And that's very recognisable to me because our five-year-old five -year Isaac yes. has suffered with it for a couple of years. And yes. my wife, the routine and the paraphernalia, the, the cold and lukewarm baths with no creams and creams for this one, an antibiotic for that, a steroid for this, it's, it takes constant maintenance. It's yeah. And it's all, it's, it's the joints, the elbows, the yeah. wrists, yeah. the legs, the backs, the knees. It's a real... It, yeah, there doesn't seem to be an end to it in, in terms of the treatment of it for us. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Well, is that a common story? Maybe? It's a common story. The patterns you describe, the flexural areas, the yes. folds, that's seen in childhood. But eczema usually first presents in infancy, in the first year of life. So 80% mm. of patients will have first got their disease when they're a little baby. Mm. And when the, in, in infancy, the eczema starts on the face, actually. Mm. And it tends to be more generalised. And then... Mm into childhood, it starts to localise to these fold areas. And indeed, the treatment is very uh, cumbersome for people, it's very involved, difficult. It? Yeah. It's a lot of hard work and it yeah. affects the whole family, not just the yeah. child or of the course, patient. Of course, there's maintenance and work involved. Yeah, it's daily. Uh, Paul, you know that, all, all too familiar yes, with it, it. It sounds very familiar, what I'm hearing. But the thing about eczema is from a child's point of view, and uh, my pattern was similar to most, I started with asthma when I was very small, grew out of it and it was replaced with this. But as a child, you don't know from anything else. Yeah. You don't really. And it started, as you say, in the folds of the skin and scratching. It's actually more that, I think, than anything else. Um, because the pain is one thing, but that you sort of learn to cope with. What is much more difficult, I think, and this is where the real stigma comes, is in what's referred to as the itch. Yeah. And that's a very difficult thing to describe. And I sort of, I suppose, scratched my way through childhood. And, yeah. if, you know, as I look back at the number of times, and in fact, still am told, you know, to stop scratching, mm -hmm. so that I really don't hear that anymore, mm. certainly not in the way that I once did. Mm. But what's important to point out too, and I'm sure Maeve will agree with this, is that eczema is a very different thing at different stages. And I sort of coped with things when I was being reared in the 70s in Belfast, mm. you went to your dermatologist and they would prescribe treatment and you'd have steroids and so on, you'd get mm. on with it. Mm. And I did, but it wasn't actually until 10 years ago that I started to really flare up for whatever reason and that it really began to affect my life completely or in a more complete way and certainly anybody who knows me well would probably have recognized that at the time but the wonderful thing now and this is the great advantage of something like the Irish Skin Foundation is that there's education mm -hmm. and I wasn't aware of this when I was young there are treatments such as wet wrapping UVB um, holistic treatments in fact that are relatively easy to administer, maybe not in the first instance when you're being treated clinically, but, but that you can carry out yourself and that makes such a difference to your life. And I never knew this mm. until I was lucky enough to be in the receiving end of it. As I say, it started about a decade ago in St Vincent's and then more recently in the wonderful Charles Centre at the regionals in Limerick, mm -hmm. which is a whole new development for everyone in that area. It's extraordinary, the progress and the fact that there are so many more people devoted to this now and who realise, I think, that it's very much more common. We've been talking about yeah. it with one of your own. I was talking about it just a few minutes ago to somebody in makeup. Yeah. Mm. And uh, common, last yeah. night at work, there were several people when I was saying what I was doing this morning who said, oh, I have someone or I have a child. Connect or, to. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you have someone who you love or you know well, 
or yourself, obviously, there's nothing that you wouldn't do. To help. Uh, to help. Maybe is, is there a connection? Because, obviously, we read up on us, and Lisa particularly does our homework into us, um, in terms of the connection with eczema and allergies. Yes. Is there, is there more science telling us now that it's an allergy base? It's, or wh where are we at at the moment with allergies and eczema? Well, eczema is part of the atopic family, mm. um, and this means people that are atopic have a tendency to allergy. Mm. And atopic conditions include eczema, asthma, hay fever, and food allergies. Right. Now, if uh, your baby has severe eczema, so not mild eczema, mm -hmm. but moderate to severe, mm -hmm. and remember, most babies have mild, <clears throat> you know, but if yeah. it's moderate to severe, they're at about a 30% chance of getting uh, allergies, mm -hmm. food allergies and asthma, yes. Because our, our Isaac, our five-year-old, he has a severe uh, nut allergy. Yes, you know, but we, that's we, very the story. The EpiPens. Yeah. Now, exactly. we've been told that he might go out of that, as you said, but it's a roll of the dice. It's 50-50. Mm. So for it. viewers watching this morning, mm. first of all, if they see early signs of a yeah. MAVE, what is the first step? Well, the first thing I would say is there's lots of things we can do, as Paul's yeah. described, to help eczema. There's lots of good treatments. The first step is your family doctor. Okay. You know, and the vast majority of eczema, thankfully, is mild. And, you know, with management, uh, your child can have a, uh, or, you know, your child or partner or whoever family member can have a very good quality of life. Mm -hmm. um, so your GP can manage most of that. Then if the GP can't help, your dermatologist mm -hmm. is the next port of call. Mm -hmm. And also, as Paul mentioned, there's lots of excellent resources out there. The Irish Skin Foundation has wonderful information on their website and a helpline for patients. And there's their website. Go. We'll put all their information up on our yeah. Facebook pages as well. Um, Paul, in terms of the treatment of it, and, and I know we're killed for time, we're always conscious about putting steroids on the child. We're afraid of our mm. lives. I mean, was that were you aware of that? Or conscious? I did have sort of mild steroid treatment throughout, yeah. but for me, a lot of it is just the pure emulsifying ointments and so yes, on. But I would yeah. say this: one of the first steps <clears throat> to making yourself better or making a much better life for yourself with this is actually admitting it in the first place. Because mm. I did that classic thing for years. Oh no, me saying, I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm great. I'm fine. And uh, it was really not until, as I say, 10 years ago when I was taught more holistic methods to deal mm. with this that anybody actually really asked me, how did I feel about and it? As you say, there's more information out there and it's more, there's more Absolutely. education. Absolutely. The there. Irish Skin Foundation and, incidentally, um, Eczema Expert, which is a big meeting that's happening next Saturday for people who want to come. And all the information about that Brilliant. is on the, on Irish the website. Skin so Foundation. Eczema so Awareness Week, the 11th to the 17th of September. And the free information evening is in the Red Cow. Great. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you for coming. Thank in, you guys. very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me.